Hi guys and welcome back to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use Figma to create wireframes. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now before we get started, if you're searching for a cutting-edge design and collaboration software, click the link in the description below to sign up and get started with Figma today. So let's get right into it. Now, before we proceed with actually demonstrating how you could create a wireframe, you must understand what a wireframe is. A wireframe is basically like a simple design that would allow you to showcase or present an idea quickly. Now, it's not the final design, of course. It's more on a draft of a design that you're trying to create. Now, this is typically done when you're in a meeting with someone and you're trying to show or you're trying to show and design right away on how your design would look like so you will be using what you call wireframes and we will be utilizing our figma over here today to demonstrate how to do it now i'm going to upload a photo over here we have an instagram post over here as a sample let's crop our image for a bit over here so that we could focus on the actual design of our instagram over here there we go now, we're going to be demonstrating in today's video how you could use Figma to create a wireframe and I will be using Instagram over here as a sample of the design that we're trying to create a wireframe of. Now, of course, this is just a sample of a design. If you're a UI, you will be creating your own wireframes. So to get started, we have the design over here that we're trying to copy. Simply click on F, which would allow you to create frames. Now you could choose from multiple templates of frames over here. You have phones, tablet, desktop, presentation, watch, paper, social media, and Figma community over here. Now since Instagram is a mobile phone, you would typically use some um, templates over here. For example, Android Small, and it will appear over here, just like that. So let's uh, resize this for a bit. Let's make sure it's a balance over here. By holding on Shift, you won't be able to change the size you won't be able to free change the size but you will be able to change the largeness or smallness of a frame by doing that there we go we now have a balance output over here now like i explained earlier wireframes aren't a final product they're just some simple design that would allow you to visualize what you're trying to do and we have our frame over here and over here on the left side you will be able to notice that this is where you will be able to see the different aspects or the different elements that are in your screen and you could uh, double click this so that you could create a title so let's say here wireframe click on enter and now wireframe will be labeled over here for your specific frame which would be really great for creating a design now the different elements that are present in Figma are very simple elements. You have your rectangle, ellipse, polygon, lines, arrows, stars, and we could even place some images over here. And to get started with, let's go and duplicate or create our image area over here, the center. So simply click on rectangle and simply drag it on your screen, just like that. And now there we go, we have a very simple part of our design. Now there are other elements over here like the heart part and like the uh, those parts over here, the comments, the uploads, stuff like that. You don't really need to uh, really have the icon yet. This is for the basics for now. We have our bottom part over here. Let's highlight this as well. Let's change the color to a lighter color so that we could notice it. We could notice it but uh, be very subtle about it. There we go. Then you have your different buttons. You have one, two, three, four, five. Let's uh, indicate or present that with Eclipse over here to indicate that these are buttons or like places where buttons should be. So let's turn it uh, dark uh, way over here. Let's make it bigger for a bit. There we go. Now we know this represents a specific button. And so we line it. There we go. Then we click on Alt to duplicate it. We have five buttons, so let's create five circles over here, just like that. And the ruler is very useful. You will be able to easily 
make sure that everything is spaced properly although it's having a hard time right now so uh here we go 18 this one let's make sure it's 18 as well it's a bit hard but this one point there we go this one let's turn it into 18 as well there we go now we have some representation of what the image or rather the buttons would be and would where it would be located so it's over here on the left side it's now all of this eclipse so let's simply click on right click click on group selection so that we will be able to group them and be able to select them entirely and then move them around so double select it then name it as main buttons they're like that so that you are able to identify what are those parts now over here you have your simple icons over here below this square where the image would be so let's create some small squares over here just simple squares that would allow us to figure out where this would be uh let's make it a bit darker there we go make it a bit bigger then let's simply put them together just like that and just like that now you know where this uh, buttons over here are supposed to be now we have another button over here so let's simply duplicate it and put it over here on the edge there we go now you have your profile picture then username then you have this top part as well let's create the top part for now just a very simple top part there we go and let's change it into a lighter color as well not too dark not too light just enough so that we can faintly see it then you have your instagram logo over here let's add another button over here at the top which is the camera button there we go let's uh, make it a bit bigger then let's make it into a darker color there we go now let's create our buttons over here on the right side now we have our very simple wireframe you could see that our design or the design is being built slowly and you could identify where the buttons would be where the different interaction would be where the image would be and we have our username over here as well or the user so let's create our circle over here at the top just like that and then you can click on the text option over here drag it over here just like that let's simply say username now we have a very simple wireframe of an instagram post or our instagram template now of course like i said wireframes are just simple designs that would allow you to visualize your design quickly and if you have just this i think it's a very good design already where you could uh mention where the different parts are so let's actually uh, let me print screen this and let's take this part over here and paste it mm -hmm. on this other side so that we don't have or we don't waste time here we go now we have that part over here and there's also another thing that we could play around with which is this option over here at the top which is the pencil which would allow you to draw simple icons so for example we have this uh save or bookmark option over here so we could draw this this is just for like temporary designs of course and if you select that uh, option e let's select the pen you could even select the pencil if you want so that you could draw and you can change the color over here the right side you can change the thickness then you could draw your design so that's for you know uh graph so that the person or you yourself would know what type of icon would be found there and you have the house or like the search button over here supposedly you are also able to use the pen I'm not sure why it's not working for us right now. Oh, there we go. And it's a bit harder to use than the pencil. But to get the idea, you will be able to use that as well. Well, let's end that for now. This is like, like a normal design there. But to get the idea, you could use pencil or the pen over here to create some simple icons, draw hand-drawn icons, so that you know what type of icon would be found there. And that would be a very helpful uh, design for a UI like for example you yourself is a UI designer or you know someone who is a UI designer and you want to create your own design on where different things should be and then you can submit that to them for example we have over here and you can see the similarities between these two over here. 
So that's basically it guys. That is how you will be able to build a wireframe in Figma. So if you enjoyed this video guys, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.